Tarts or biscuits? Thanks to short crust pastry, one of the most important basic pastry doughs, you can easily prepare these recipes. The ingredients are few, and you only need a handful of tips to obtain the best short crust pastry ever. If you have everything in your pantry, let's begin! Only a few ingredients which are cold diced butter, flour, lemon zest, icing sugar and eggs. There are three basic types of short crust pastry. The classic one, in which all the ingredients are worked together first, and the flour is added only at the end. Then the whipped one, in which you begin to whisk butter and sugar. And finally, the one we'll see together today, the most practical and quickest, the sable dough or sabbiata in Italian. I'll start by pouring the flour into the mixer. The best choice is a low gluten flour. Then I add to the cold diced butter. If you want a more golden pastry, you should add some honey. Let's close the mixer and start the blades. Here is the sable dough I was talking about. The flour is trapped in the butter and will form less gluten, thus guaranteeing you a more crumbly pastry. Now I can continue adding the other ingredients and decide whether to work it on the worktop or directly in the mixer. What's important is that the blades operate at low speed, just long enough to compact the dough. I'll add to the eggs. Then the sugar. The choice is yours. This icing sugar will give it a very fine consistency. The granulated one will make your pastry much more violet. Now the aromas. I use lemon zest, which is sour and fragrant. But in addition, or alternatively, you can use orange zest, the seeds of a vanilla bean or sweet spices. Let's start with the blades again, like I said, at lower speed. Here is the dough ready. I'll turn it out onto the work surface to compact it a little with my hands. If that happens, you will have to fix the pastry. Just add more egg or some butter. That will be perfect again. Here is my dough. I'll wrap it and let it rest in the fridge so the gluten will relax. In the meantime, the butter will get cold again. Well, normally we recommend at least half an hour, but if you want to stick to rules, the pastry should rest for at least 10-12 hours. Remember to heat the pastry with a rolling pin before use, so as to give it back a minimum heat. Then you can roll it out with a pinch of flour on the work surface or dry roll it between two sheets of parchment paper. As I told you, the short crust pastry is turned into tart and biscuits. But what about how to bake it? My advice is to stick to each specific recipe because there is no fixed rule. In general, a medium-low temperature between 150 and 170 degrees is better for tarts, while 180 degrees is ideal for classic biscuits or blind baking. There are still a lot of things to learn, but at least now I'm sure you have all the basics to prepare an excellent short crust pastry. Which of these recipes made you hungry? Prepare them yourself, then let me know.